welcome to the Cam4 Happy Hour Hangover Podcast. This is The Hangover, where we shoot the shit with all of our amazing players after we wrap up the happy hour show. So it was a wild one. It was our Moulin Rouge theme. We've got WAP Queen, Pillow Princess, and of course, Busy Man in the house. Hey, everybody. Hi, Laura. Hi. Okay, how about you all? The show we just had. <laughs> <laughs> it was phenomenal. Remarkable. Yeah, yeah. I would it go was actually it. remarkable, though. Yeah. We made a lot of coin. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think that was about? Is that because it was Moulin Rouge and you knew that you were going to get the sex appeal dialed up? I mean, I think so many of the themes we do are just insanely sexy. This one made maybe more mainstream sexy. Maybe. I think that's a good hypothesis. I mm. think the stalking show definitely was like, very appealing. I thought you did a really great job at that. And I also just think our Latin American performers were knocking it out of the park today. I know. We we see such a such a change in the chat room and like even the the rhythm of tipping when the Latin American broadcasters join us and I I don't know how to identify that. Maybe that's just how things are in their market, but like every time they join us it's insane. It is insane. It really was. I mean, there was like time after time. It's like, did that just happen? Oh my God. It, and and then another one right after that. Yeah. Over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. And and busy, you weren't uh you weren't on camera today. Did you did you feel a little left out? Um, no, I was pretty busy behind the scenes and <laughs> the camera was not on me. <laughs> you know what I love though is that with having all of these regular viewers, these people know, even though you don't see Busy Man in a show like what we just had, they still know that Busy Man is there. And so there was the odd remark here and there of, well, when's Busy Man doing a stocking peel? When's Busy Man doing a strip tease? When's Busy Man doing one of these rounds? And I always, I love that because it just shows that, you know, people are coming back. They're, they get it, they get the dynamic, they're here for it. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. WAP, thoughts on today? Anything Did surprising? It? Huh? Did anything surprise you about today? Everything. Every, there's always a surprise whenever you're on happy hour. You never know what you're going to get. The mama craze. Yeah. Who is going crazy? I want to know who that person is. I'm so curious who Mama Craze is. So shout out to Mama Craze in this podcast right now. Uh, Mama Craze, and there's also another account, Daddy Craze. And Ooh. sometimes, yeah, sometimes they go back and forth. I remember the first time I met Mama Craze in one of our shows, halfway through Mama Craze disappeared. And we were like, oh, is that the end of Mama Craze? Cause that was so wild. This is someone who tips major, like big numbers. And that isn't necessary, you know, we love it. But, you know, it's not something you see every show. But when Mama Craze is there, it's like, whoa. So the first time I met Mama Craze, they dropped all of these tokens and then they vanished. And in my mind, I thought, OK, well, that that was fun while it lasted. Out of nowhere, enter the chat, Daddy Craze. And it just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're the same person with alternative identities? Yeah, or they're like a team. They're working as a team on that. Be a couple. Could be, it could be. I just hope they keep coming, you know, like yeah. I'm, I'm so here for it, I love it. Um, and even when I have a day like today where, you know, I was I was haunted today during our strip tease with memories of being on an actual physical stage and not being able to get out of my outfit uh, and having to cut it. Like I, I've been in that situation before and I put a lot of pressure on the strip tease for myself. I'm always like, it's gotta be good. I had to cut myself out of my damn outfit today. It was, you know, $12 on Amazon Prime, so it's fine. But any mm -hmm. costume malfunctions? I think everyone was pretty smooth with, uh, with you two. Everything went well. Except for when I almost ate shit at the end of the show. Didn't see it. I, I get very <laughs> self thing out and I was on the chair getting all like, mm, and then the chair yeah. tipped and I tumbled. And I shouted, I yelped. 
It was terrible. <laughs> but like more embarrassing things have happened on cam, right? For sure, for sure. It was it wasn't that bad. It was just a stumble. And I actually honestly think the little stumbles are kind of cute. And yeah. then you panic, oh no, I fell. And they're like, oh, look at that helpless damsel. <laughs> Get off on it. So it's okay. It's fine. If if it's too slick and overproduced, people think it's, you know, all pre-recorded. And when it's real and raw, people love it. Yeah. <laughs> And like accidents, they truly are happy accidents on this show. So like every time one of those happen, I've even seen viewers that almost want to help you through the embarrassing moment. And they're like, let's throw some tokens when something bad happens. Like mm -hmm. you can't get your underwear off your ankle and you're like kicking it and it's attached to your shoe and it's embarrassing. And like that kind of shit happens all the time. But I do believe it's the appeal of camming. Like, I really think that's part of why you tune in because you're not getting a big budget production. You're not going to the movie theater to see, you know, an action movie on IMAX. You're going to see a human being and there's faults when you're a human. And I think we do, we do a good blend of them here on this show, you know? We definitely, mm -hmm. uh, I contributed quite a bit to the mistakes and realness and rawness. <laughs> Busy man, you 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 missed uh you missed some countdown clocks today. Where where would you go? What yeah, happened? Busy is is an apt word. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> tell us more. <laughs> Actually, I, I I get a little panic in me though, busy only because like if it ever came down to it, I know I wouldn't be able to even come close to doing what you do. <laughs> At some point, a lot of it just goes on autopilot. It's like, okay, duke, duke, duke. and now it's the, that's the best part, part of, you know, the, the frequent guests and working with you is, you know, we just get into this rhythm. And like today was a perfect outcome of that. Of it was like you said thirty seconds, and and was like my fingers right on the button, and you know the song was right there when it all comes together. It's awesome. We need new room goal rewards, by the way. Or we need to make that falling coins into my snatch. We need to do it either more interactively. Like, I don't know, but this is, we finally hit a show where too many room goals were unlocked <laughs> and that shit became so redundant. I was like, how am I gonna upgrade it this time? Bring it closer? Like, what are we gonna do to make it- you were more? looking at my notes. Yeah, like we need we need to figure out some even better rewards, like higher than that. So I don't know. I'm oh, always gonna definitely build up. Yeah. You know, yeah, something fun up. at the beginning, but then crazier and crazier. Yeah. How do you two like WAP and Pillow? How do you two reward your viewers in your own broadcasts? I always do it to leading to like a come show. So I'll, I'll add like 30 seconds of pussy play, then build it up to a minute and do kind of like edge myself until I hit the big room goal. And then I break out my Hitachi and have some fun. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hello. Honestly, pretty similarly, I have, you know, a tip menu. And so people know exactly like what they are getting when they pay for things. And oftentimes those are flashes. Sometimes they are, you know, titty fucks or blow jobs or I'm going to, you know, come on my own. And I definitely also, in addition to rewarding those things, you know, my lush will go off. And so then I will also be rewarding my audience with moans or I'll start just kind of casually touching myself over my panties. And they'll be like, ooh, she's horny. She's horny. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Yeah. So it's it's like a, it's a feedback loop. Yeah. A good one. Very, very good one. Right? I okay. feed you, you give back. <laughs> yeah, I was I was loving the uh, the excitement that we had going in the chat. Like having other languages in there, fuck. I wish I could translate every one of those comments <laughs> that was coming in. There was moments where people were writing paragraphs like this long in Spanish or, you know, there was probably other languages. I didn't see them all. I was busy doing things, but I was like, oh my God, someone needs to translate this shit immediately. I need in on this. Cause you can feel that they're excited. And I love that, but I, 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 need, I need that upgrade ability. I need to be able to just immediately have it translated for me. <laughs> they definitely feed on each other. You know, when the yeah. chat room is, it's like a fire. Uh, you know, if there's only a couple of messages, it's kind of boring. But once it gets going, 
people just need to keep contributing to it. And it's like throwing furniture on the bonfire. Yeah, yeah. And it's an interesting mentality because at one point I was looking at the chat and uh, one of the, the viewers, I believe Lorange, was like, this is what happens when we collaborate, everybody. This is what we can get our way when we collaborate and becomes this like strange little civilization, the chat mm -hmm. for a moment. And then they, you know, they, they build a democracy and they work together. And like, it's, it's all very, it's a social experiment. You know, I'm, I'm fascinated by it, but I like when they get the concept and they're able to be like, if we all work together, we can see this person succeed. That's cool to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So mm -hmm. uh, anyone wash their name tags off? Or are you going to keep those on for a little bit? Mine's already naturally faded from my titty sweat because yeah. um, mm. after that, I had to do the booty shaking round, which was my cardio for the week. And I yeah. still lost. <laughs> and so I've, I've sweat my name tag off. Um, but I was soaking was upside down under my titties where she belongs yeah She's major so major sweet. major major props for uh for that i was so creative writing it upside down and then Thank flipping you. over that was, that was genius <laughs> i'm lucky i did not break my neck <laughs> it was just so no it was so great like we we live for the acrobatic entertainment here on this show right like it's just so exciting every time it's like when delson does his handstands or headstands or somersaults like i, I it's it just transforms the whole show. Suddenly we're watching Cirque du Soleil and I fucking <laughs> did, love that. So did you think uh, when you were writing it upside down that you were going to do that or you just wrote it upside down and thought of it? I the thought to myself, like, there's what? no way I'm going to get the entire name right side up for the viewers. And so I'm just going to, I'm just going to reorient the entire planet to be from my perspective. That was literally my thought. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> Now I must improvise, therefore I will flip upside down. <laughs> You're such an artist. That's like such a fabulous reveal, you know? Like that's the kind of shit, like spur of the moment. That's the way the pussy coin purse happens, spur of the moment. Like genius can happen in those fleeting seconds that you're like, I'm gonna do it, screw it. It's happening right now. And there was a lot of our previous guests in the chat today, Cali boy, fucking just played with us last week. Cali boy, hot horse dick soaking like it's it's a full-blown hangout i wish it was in person you know it's like when i see these people enter the chat i feel like i'm wrapping my arms around them i just wish that it was an in-person thing but hey that's you know that's the beauty of of this uh virtual heartbreak we want it we want to reach through yeah all the time, all the time. it is it is a funny sensation yeah. If you could answer, if you could dildo call any of our viewers, who would you dildo call? I mean, I think it would be Mama Craze because I would want to know if they are a single or double entity. Yeah. Residing in one or two bodies. I would be like, what, what is the craze situation and why did you love this show so much? And who are you? <laughs> who are you? You're so mysterious with your huge pockets. I love yeah. it. The Wop best kind of mystery. It's very sexy. It is. I know. I love it. And the whole mama and daddy craze, the fact that that exists, it's like, it just, the plot thickens. That Wop it does. Who would I dildo call? I, I really want to know the mama craze situation as well, but... Um, yeah, I, I would want to figure that out. I'd call Daddy Craze. Okay, good. And then that way we would have all mm -hmm. grounds covered. Yes. One of, our, one of our viewers today, or sorry, one of our players today was expressing that they were feeling a little bit nervous. I get nervous every time, personally. Like at any time the countdown clock is on, I'm immediately like, what am I saying? What am I doing? Ugh. How much am I regurgitating from the last time they saw my face on usually everything? So like, I, I, I have a little panic that happens in me. Do either of you experience that? Even busy, do you experience a bit of that nervousness? Every single time. I know. <laughs> and throughout the show. Yeah. yeah. What am I gonna do to screw this up? But, uh, yeah, but let's hear from, uh, let's hear from Wob. Every, every single time it gets, it's easier each time 
especially after, you know, knowing the different contests, knowing and doing this longer, it's easier to get on cam. But there's always the nerves whenever the countdown goes on. But yeah. yeah. Pillow? I think of it as a sort of tingly high. I, I try to think of it as positively as possible because I think that like I do get the physiological anxiety responses of like my heart's beating kind of fast, my hands start sweating. But isn't that also what happens during foreplay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get a little anxious, you're like, oh no, I hope this person likes when I stick my tongue in their mouth, or I hope this person likes my body, or you know, you get that little like, gee, I wonder how it's gonna go. Um, and so I've done my best to try to like translate that stage fright into a sort of eroticized thing. Excitement. And I think that that's really the key to overcoming stage fright is like so often professionals in the mental field, mental health field, they'll try and, you know, help you exchange that feeling of anxiety and trade it in for this is excitement. Mm. Um, because they're very similar, right? When we're excited, the body's like revved up and ready. But when we're anxious or nervous, we're also kind of revved and not ready, but revved in that same way. And so it's kind of fun to trick yourself and psych yourself and be like, okay, we're doing this. Like sometimes before we even go into the behind the scenes stream yard link, I will pump up the jams. Like mm -hmm. in my house, I'll, I, I need to pump up the jams. I need them really loud. Like I need to kind of rage out. One of the things I've noticed is that throughout the show, I'll peek down at the cameras to see what all of you are doing. And Pillow, you're like making content during the show. Oh my God, I didn't know that you could see me. <laughs> no, don't, don't think of it as a bad thing. I was, I was gonna commend you and say, amazing time management. Trust me, I'm like sometimes digging around in my pussy, pulling toilet paper out. Like, Same. I, if you guys Same. can see my camera all the time, it's busy can see it all the time. And there's weird things happening there. But like, I was like, that's smart. You're, you're making other shit or you're capturing other shit while you're mm -hmm. in face, in nice lights, like why not? I only put on makeup and like do up really for happy hour. I like to be kind of more like just natural looking in my shows, but I love getting dressed up for happy hour. And so I do like capitalize on that while it's, while it's here. Um, actually this show, I was messaging a couple of different clients sending yeah. exclusive content because they pay me handsomely. Yes. I'm all about that. I love those personal relationships, you know? But also work smart. You know, that's just working smart. I remember I, I, it feels like something we should have known from the beginning that, hey, once you've got your face on, make the most of it. <laughs> um, but I, I remember hearing that from a friend of mine in porn and she was like, once you've done your face, after the shoot, after whatever it is that you put your face on for, just do one more thing, you know, just take one more little photo set or just film one more little clip, you'll be grateful that you did that. Because then the next two, three, four, or five days that you're not in glam or whatever way you present yourself, you get to have that peace of mind. You've got something to feed the fishes with, you know? Feed the fishes with, yes. I love that. <laughs> well, it's also yeah. just, you're in the mood, you're excited, you're, you've got the energy, you're, you're, your mind is there. Yeah, it keeps you in it, you know, like you're you're kind of slinking around on camera. Well, when the camera's on someone else, why not use that little slippery energy and make some more content with it? Trust me, sometimes you're just like super run down and you're like, I'm I'm done, I'm tired, and you can't fight that and you have to just take it all off. But I tell people as often as you can, like if you're still in face, if the lights are set up, mm. whatever it is, like just shoot one more thing. You'll be grateful. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be shooting one more thing after this. I don't know what it is yet. Well, Ooh, spontaneous. Yeah, it's gonna be a spontaneous combustion. Wop, what do you do after a show? After a show, um, either I do another show or I go to my other job. Um, today I'm going to my other job and I am, I've been working on a tiny home the last couple of weeks. Oh, fine. Yeah, I'm going to be moving into a tiny home. So that's been monopolizing a lot of my time. But in about two weeks, like I said, I'll have a new space. It'll be so cute. And you're going to cam from a tiny home? Yes. That and is I'll, I'll be able to do outdoor shows. Oh, oh hell yeah. 
Oh it's my gonna god! Be real. It's gonna is be it a fun. tiny home on wheels or is it a tiny? It's home not on wheels. It's okay. in my best friend's yard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we'll be. I'll be living with my photographer. So it's, taking it's a bit of a hiatus, it? but it'll be worth it in the end. That's an investment right there. That's a yeah. good move. That's fucking phenomenal. It's not made out of cardboard, right? <laughs> so I'm going to do construction today after the show. Nice. Wow. <laughs> a little hobby of mine. Oh, you're going to take pictures fun. of that. Yeah, make some content while you're at it. Just like let the camera roll. I will. Yeah. Oops, Just I dropped it. something. Yeah, oop. <laughs> Nail this in. Oh, I got to screw it so hard. Like, just have some fun with it. Oh, yeah, I can get my, I use a power drill and a saw. I've got a circular Ooh. saw, cutting plywood, doing some flooring. Oh, uh, yeah. I've got a wow. nail gun. You are turning me on right now. <laughs> oh, That's really? A capable woman. Yeah. Home improvement. I am so here for this. This could be maybe a new theme of our show. We, maybe we should try doing a uh, Barbara the Builder. Yeah, or like nice. just a, just like some kind of a home improvement. Like you can show up as a plumber or a piece of wallpaper or like there's. Do you guys remember wallpaper? I miss wallpaper. I miss yeah, wallpaper. that would be a hot show. Yeah, I love role plays. Me too. And I think most of the world, whether or not they even know what a role play is, they like it. It activates it, right? Like it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do something like that. That'd be really fun. But yeah, today was today was a dynamite show. Felt good. Had a blast. Had such a blast. Yeah. <laughs> and so many gorgeous performers. Like I just love being in the presence. Yeah of these wonderful, charming people. I also love being in this microwave. It does look like you're kind of, <laughs> it does. You know, you're like I- for it to go bing. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice that until now. I mean, it's, it's the exact color of a microwave in here. Mission accomplished. What can I say? Well, I, I, I would say that that's a, that's a wrap on our hangover. Everyone's feeling it, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to drink plenty of water. Okay, well, let's make sure that everyone knows uh, the contact and handles and all that. Uh, you guys know me, Laura Desiree. You can uh, get connected with me on social media, Laura X Desiree on Instagram and Twitter. I can't wait for you to make that connection and uh, dive right in. Pillow Princess, let them know where to find you. Hello, everyone. You can find me here on Cam4. Uh, my name is Pillow Princess. For those of you listening, it's P-I-L-O, Princess, no space. Uh, my Twitter is at Princess Pillow. Those are the places that you can find me. Um, I would love to meet you. I like to meet new people. If you want me to Snapchat you exclusive premium content in the middle of camming backstage, <laughs> you can out to me. <laughs> and you, too, can be on that list. Or you can simply join my fan club. It's only 50 tokens a month for hundreds of pictures and videos. It's been a delight. Oh, yeah. As always. As I'm always. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Pillow Princess. And WAP Queen, let them know how to find you. You can find me on Twitter at WAP Queen Cam4. You can also find me here on Cam4. You can join my fan club. Um, I'm going to come back from a break fresh and happy and yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you can go watch me review toys. I fuck around with, I've got blowjob videos, come show videos, all the fun stuff in my fan club. You get exclusive outdoor content with, um, different photos and stuff. Woo! Yeah. Nice. And the shortest shorts on the fucking internet. Busy man. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, click the right button here. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm also here behind the scenes. Uh, I also do shows here on Cam4. You can follow me on Cam4 on Twitter. And uh, I'll do late night uh, shows with my bass or, or stripping in a gym. Uh, all over the place, but uh, check out my profile and uh, see if it's to your liking. It will be. <laughs> we can guarantee that. Satisfaction guarantee 
or not your money back. We'll find another way to make you happy. I uh, hope you enjoyed hanging out with us here at The Hangover. You can always check out more episodes. They drop every week and tune in for Cam Forest Happy Hour. You've heard us talk about it. You know you want to see it. Join us 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern every single Friday. We want to see you. We want to play with you. Until then, take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 And thank you, everybody. This has been a CAM4 radio production. Come say hi at www.cam4radio.com.